Far to the south of Paradise Bay, Brash now gives away to real icebergs. This is the heart of Antarctica, an area that owes its name to Adele Dumont de Ville, the wife of the French explorer who first navigated the region in 1840. The all-weather surface suits penguins perfectly. What's more, leopard seals and fur seals rarely venture this far south. Only old fish face, the Weddell seal, can stand the extreme latitude. For fanatical hikers like the Adili, the ice fields are perfect for accessing new hunting grounds before the summer ends. It won't be long before penguins and seals alike leave the ice for the open sea. Enjoy it while it lasts, because when the emperor penguin is on the march, you know winter's on the way. They do exactly the opposite to other penguins. Instead of taking to the sea, shoulder to shoulder, they'll spend the entire winter inland. They trek for weeks in their thousands to the coldest spot on Earth where few animals, let alone men, dare venture in winter. Penguins tend to be similar in appearance and behavior. The emperor is totally different. As a rule, penguins reject all forms of nonconformity, as this albino Adili sadly learns. The emperor penguin not only differs in his choice of seasonal habitat and by his impressive size, he's also a nonconformist in many other ways. Just before winter, he picks a new mate, new being the operative word. While other penguins tend to be loyal, male emperors pick and choose every year. As daylight wanes and emperor penguins make love on the ice, Adelis enjoy one last toboggan ride. They must bid farewell for another winter to Adili land. The same goes for macaroni penguins on Elephant Island. They too will spend the winter at sea. Chin straps on Paradise Bay are in full flight. Land holds no promise for them now. A 
Adili land reclaims the sea with every passing day and every drop in temperature. Emperor penguins are on their own now. Why do they wait for winter? One egg, one hope in the most inhospitable place on Earth. There's a reason, the emperor's sheer size. To grow in the image of one's parents takes time, so the emperor penguin chooses the longest season to raise his offspring. A delicate transfer of responsibility now takes place. Males close ranks for the duration. As for the females, they're now free to strike out across the ice for hunting grounds at sea. Two hundred kilometers of ice lie ahead of them. The outward journey takes a month. New ice fields turn the quest for open water into an endless mirage. Female emperors probably tap into magnetic forces to negotiate this wall of mirrors. They navigate like all great explorers with the sun and the stars. Inland winds pack speeds of 250 kilometers an hour. Temperatures drop to minus 70 degrees Celsius. The emperors continue to incubate in a tight but movable scrum. They shift gently from inside to outside to keep warm. Two months after giving up their eggs, mothers return with impressive punctuality. The sight of fattened females reporting back for maternal duty warms the cockles in males' hearts. But family reunions will not last long. Male emperors have lost a lot of weight. They desperately need to feed. And so do the chicks if they're to survive the rest of the winter, which won't be easy.